Hey folks, Dr. Gersmar from Aspire Natural Health. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you happen to be watching or listening to this, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, I'm having a fantastic day as my week of vacation, sadly, starts to wrap itself up. That's okay, everything that begins has to end anyways, and it'll be good to get back to home and the city and, and the regular pace of life. It's great to take a break. It's important and necessary, and definitely we Americans do a lousy job at it compared to the rest of the world. If you want to learn more about that, look back for the video on cycles of restoration. Cycles of restoration talks more about the need for activity balanced with rest. And frankly, the rest of the world definitely seems to get it a lot better than Americans do. Well, I wanted to talk today about the third natural healer. We've talked so far about two other natural healers, the first being nature itself, the second being music, both powerful healers that are often overlooked in our rush for something sexy or new or interesting or high tech, you know, whether it's drugs, whether it's surgery, whether it's high tech treatments, or even whether it's supplements and, and diet changes and lifestyle changes, all of those can, can be important and useful tools and we use them a lot, but often we forget about the three natural healers that are so readily available to most of us. Again, nature, music, and the third natural healer that we're going to talk today about is breath. Yes, breath or breathing, right? It's something that we all take for granted unless we're having trouble doing it. Regular medicine also takes breathing totally for granted unless we have a disease that affects our ability to breathe like asthma or emphysema. Otherwise, breathing is just, yeah. Does it look like you're doing it? Is the, do things basically look normal? Yeah, great, it's all good. But we know from traditional healing, traditional health practices around the world, that breathing is critically important. And I recently read a book, it's called Breath by the journalist James Nestor, Breath by James Nestor, that shed a lot more light on it. I knew breathing was important, but this book helped me to understand that breathing is even more important than I thought about before. So the gist of the book, it's definitely a good book, I recommend that you read it, but the gist of the book is that most of us are breathing too fast and too shallow, too fast and too shallow, and that a simple breathing technique is to focus on breathing through our nose instead of breathing through our mouth, breathe through our nose, and to focus on breathing in for a count of six and out for a count of six. That dramatically slows down our breathing pattern. Now, I don't know about you, but I have young kids, and recently one got into a meltdown. What's one of the things I noticed? Their breathing became fast and shallow, you know, that kind of breathing, if you've ever heard it before. And the interesting thing is breathing that way alone, in the absence of anything else, can put us into a state of anxiety and panic. Think about the last time you were freaked out about something. We tend to breathe very fast and very shallow. Now think about if reversing that. So one way to get people out of anxiety, out of a panic attack, is to help them to slow down their breathing and breathe much deeper. And often that goes a long, long way towards getting us into a better mental state. Now this can be very hard when we're anxious or if we're in a full-blown panic attack, this is something that is easier said than done. But the next time you feel yourself, you feel anxiety coming on, I urge you, instead of reaching for something to numb out that anxiety, whether it's a medication, whether it's food, whether it's, uh, you know, a supplement, whatever the case might be, I urge you first to try to focus on your breathing. Can you find somewhere quiet that you can sit down for even one minute? Can you focus on slow, deep inhale and a slow, deep exhale? Now, it's an interesting, contradictory thing for breathing is that when we're in that anxiety state, we feel like we can't breathe. Even though we actually have plenty of oxygen in our systems, we can often feel like we can't catch our breath. We need to breathe more and we need to breathe faster. It's important to recognize that that's a real feeling, but it's actually not the case. A number of interesting studies are being done on actually having people breathe deeper and actually having people inhale 
carbon dioxide. Now, if you remember back to your biology class, we breathe in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide. And we tend to think that carbon dioxide is a negative and harmful thing. And of course, look, too much of it is a problem. But what we've actually forgotten in all of that is actually too little carbon dioxide is actually a problem as well. And back at the turn of the 1900s, that medicine was actually experimenting with the use of carbon dioxide for a number of breathing disorders and anxiety disorders. They would actually have people, you know, you've heard of putting a mask on and getting oxygen, that can be very important, but they actually were carrying around canisters of carbon dioxide and they'd have people put a mask on and take a breath of diluted carbon dioxide. And they found it was incredibly helpful in many breathing disorders and many anxiety issues as well. So all of this comes back to breathing. We tend to think of it solely as getting enough air into our bodies for it to work. And that's very important. But we need to understand that breathing does more than that. Breathing is a shortcut right into our nervous system. Many of us, as you know, are in this fight or flight nervous system all the time because of too much input, too much going on. The modern lives that we lived, we talked about the sound and all of the input from modern society being a big issue issue for people. And we can understand that one way we can turn that, we can shut down that sympathetic fight or flight nervous system is simply by using our breath. Now many traditions around the world have evolved complex, fairly complex breathing rituals and patterns, whether it's part of religion or part of a health regimen, but at its very, very simplest, breathing for most of us is about slowing down our breathing, slow and deep inhales and slow and deep exhales. Now we can use this as part of a meditation routine if we're into meditation that works for us to help manage stress, but we can also use breathing techniques all on their own. In fact, we can combine it with some gentle exercise as well. So one thing that works very well for many people is taking a walk and focusing on the inhales and exhales as we're walking along, deepening those inhales and deepening those exhales. All right, folks, so to learn more about breathing, I urge you go ahead and pick up the book, Breath by James Nestor. I read it, really enjoyed the book. It helped highlight me, to me, the importance of breathing. It's more than simply getting air into and out of your bodies. And traditional wisdom, traditional health, traditional medicine around the world has emphasized the importance of breathing. After all, we can go weeks without food if it, we have to. We can go days without water if we have to, but we can only go several minutes without air or else very bad things happen to us. Most of us pay no attention whatsoever to our breath and breathing. And just as if we wanna be healthy, we talk about needing the core five, right? Eating healthy food, getting enough sleep at night, regular movement, managing our stress and a healthy mindset, we could, if we wanted, add breathing to the list as well. It does not have to be complex or esoteric. It can simply be at least several times a day, checking in and focusing on our breathing. Is it slow and is it deep? And I urge you, the next time you're feeling freaked out or angry or upset, Focus on taking a few slow, deep breaths and you'll be surprised how quickly your mental state turns around. All right, folks, that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this one about breathing. Please remember the three natural healers that all of us have available. Nature in general, music, and breath. We tend to overlook them, but they are incredibly powerful in their own right. Try to bring all three into your life and see the advantages that you will get. All right, folks, that is it for me today. Listen, if you're looking for more help, if you're dealing with digestive issues or autoimmunity, you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, you're friendly, coachable, and you're ready and willing to invest your time, your money, and your energy in going from sick to healthy to thriving, then I urge you, reach out to us. Let's have a chat. Let's see if we are the right fit to help you. We are certainly not the right fit to help everyone. In fact, we turn away around 25% of people who apply to work for us because we're not confident that we can help them to reach their goals. 
who have absolutely nothing to lose. So please reach out to us. Go to the website at aspirenaturalhealth.com. That's aspirenaturalhealth.com. And there are one of two buttons that you're gonna click. The first is ask about price and availability. There you can learn a little bit more about how we work, our availability, whether we have any slots open or we're currently on a wait list. Even if we're on the wait list, I urge you, if you're interested, go ahead and apply to be on the wait list. As soon as we have availability, we'll see about getting going and helping you. Lastly, it'll tell you about the investment that's involved in working with us. If all of that sounds good, then your next step is to click button two, which is apply for help, apply for help. There you can put in an application. We can have a chat and make sure that we are the right fit to work together. If we are, we'll get going and transform your life. If we're not, that is okay. We'll do our best to help refer you to someone else who is a better fit. All right, folks, that is it for me today. I'm off to enjoy uh, the last bit of my vacation. Enjoy some nature while it's easily available to me. All right, folks, until next time, take care.